What's good YouTube? It's your boy Lurker back with another video and today we are checking out Asmin Gold. How I cook my $2 pizza. He just posted this video today. I'm going to try and get my reaction to it. I wonder how he cooks his pizza. I saw how he cooked his steak so we can only imagine what he's going to do with his pizza. But let's get into this video. It's a, it's a 20 minute video so let's let's get right into it. Okay well guys uh, a lot of you really like the steak video. So, here we are doing another video. And I want to say that I apologize. I actually lied to you in the first video. I said I only knew how to make one meal. That's not true. I know how to actually make two or three. I want to talk to you about the second meal today. As you can see with the title, probably. Today I'm going to teach Pizza. you how to make something that's a lot more exotic, extravagant, and I hear from some people, this is something that originated all the way over in Italy. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a pizza. Now, there's a lot that goes into this, a lot of time. First of all, first of all, before we get into it, we can we just all say that we know he isn't going to make this pizza from scratch. If he makes this pizza from scratch, I'm going to be amazed because, first of all, well, I guess you could make a $2 pizza if you made it from scratch because you got to buy... Well, you got to buy flour and all that stuff. I mean, I guess if you bought the ingredients, like uh, ex like a, a, the exact amount, kind of like how um, HelloFresh, how they send you all the ingredients to make, you know, a certain amount of servings. They don't, you don't have like extra food. And actually does take more time overall than making a steak. So this is an unfortunate thing with it, but you can let it cook and then walk away. And then like you forget about it, you come back, it's burnt, and then like you have to eat the middle, and so you know, it, it, it's like a whole weird thing. That, what the like, hell is he talking about? Time, and then you almost burn the house down, it, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously I'm wearing a hoodie today, not my normal uh, shirt. The uh, reason for that is because uh, we don't really have any heating in my house, and I think the temperature right now is 38 degrees. And I'm not mm. complaining about this, this is fine. Uh, whenever it gets below freezing in the house, it makes me feel like I'm on an adventure. So I don't mind. It gets it. below anyway, freezing. Let's go ahead and get started with the pizza. First what was it cold where he is? In order to make your pizza, should be hot. It's hot where I am. Your pizza. So as yep. you can see here, he got the classic Totino's party pizza pepperoni. Look at that. Just looking at that that um that packaging. You can already taste what that pizza tastes like if you had one before. It's not, it's not Little Caesars, it's not Domino's, not Little John or Papa John's, but this party pizza is good pizza. That is a good pizza right there. This is the Totino's. Let's read this out together. Party I already did. Pizza. Who's the original ready for a crisp party? crust. Well, it's almost 2 a.m., so I am. Now, the reason why. Did you just say it's almost 2 a.m.? How is this man always. Just awake. It's like it's bright in his house for 2 a.m. 2 a.m. My house is dark. I don't have all these lights on. Right now it's 9 a.m. of me recording this. I'm I'm usually never up by 2 unless I can't sleep. Why we get Totino's pizza and not the other ones is just simply the price. Uh, back in the day, these used to be a dollar. Now they're like two fucking dollars, just like everything else that uh -huh. used to be a dollar is now two dollars. You go to Dollar General, it's not Dollar General, it's two Except the Arizona iced teas. Those canned teas, if you go to your nearest convenience store or gas station, them Arizona teas, 99 cents. They've always been 99 cents. They, they've never changed. 99 cents. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, Dollar I'm General. My mind. There's uh, things yeah, above a dollar there. This is another thing before I get into And it's weird. It's like, wait, then why is it called Dollar General Store? We used to have the dollar menu and they changed it to the value menu thinking that we wouldn't fucking notice that. Nah, bitch. Two dollars and seventy-nine cents for fries is not value. It's a joke. So anyway, I go down to the uh, <laughs> the frozen section. And McDonald's the, just be the trying frozen. to make their money. And they have these uh, different other types of uh, of pizzas, right? You've got DiGiorno. Uh -huh. It's not delivery. It's the. I gotta give me another drink. Okay, I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut off recording for that. Giorno, bitch, it's DiGiorno. It's obvious. Giorno. And if it's not, 
DiGiorno's not bad got, either. DiGiorno's pretty two, good. You've got Red Baron. It's more like Robber Baron. Robber Baron. $11. Yeah, Red I Baron is expensive, and it's not that good. And for $8.64 after tax, I can get a three-topping large pizza that I can guarantee you will blow the dick off of any Red Baron pizza. So that leaves us with the Totino's Pizza. My favorite pizza, like my favorite pizza place, if I had to pick, uh, Little Caesars probably. Little Caesars. Little Caesars was my first job that I ever had, and it was it was an experience. But that hot and ready five dollar pizza now it's not five dollars anymore. It used to be hot and ready five dollar pizzas. Little Caesars. That that that's why everybody would go to Little Caesars because they got you get a large pizza for five dollars. That was like unheard of. For two dollars. These used to be my struggle pizzas, and I had a lot of fun using them and eating them then, and we still eat them now. So the next thing you need, obviously, is you're going to need uh, your ingredients. Now the ingredients for the pizza are actually, I don't know where the fuck to put that. Um, the ingredients for pizza are actually pretty simple. Number one, you do need the pizza. Number two, three, and four, we got three ingredients that we're gonna be using. Uh, ingredient number one, we have one pepperoni, yes, but what about second pepperoni? We got more pepperoni. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of pepperoni you get, as long as it doesn't say turkey or vegan or anything stupid on it, you should be fine. And uh, then the next thing you've got is mozzarella. Uh, obviously, my stream's been doing well and successful, and so we bought the Kraft one instead of the, uh, instead of the store brand. So there's that too. Most importantly, uh, sixth graders would know this as weed, but us that have graduated would know it's called oregano. So right. we're going to be using oregano on the pizza. Now there is. A Wait a minute! How is this a two-dollar pizza? Because he's got Tostinos, but then he's adding extra ingredients. I don't know, Asmund Gold. Two-dollar pizza looks more like four dollars to me. In order for this, and the people at many of these, uh, you know, like a uh, Blaze Pizza. <laughs> I like his Pac-Man uh, pajama pants, actually. I wouldn't mind getting those. Places like that. Well, they put the oregano on last. Well, they're fucking wrong. You don't do that. You put it on first. That way, uh, I, I, I just, I've always done it that way. So that's why <laughs> I do it that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that is the right way to do it. Uh... Let them cook, guys. Let them cook. Let them it cook. It is what it is. So anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and we're going to open this bad boy up right here. And they say this is, how many servings is this? Two servings. It's not. It's one serving. Yeah, it's one serving. So you got <laughs> pizza right here. If you're and a big boy, that's one delicious. serving. You can eat that whole thing Beautiful. easily. So next thing you want to do here is, uh, actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to just go ahead and give you the VIP treatment. We're going to move this over. See, here, oh, I had to go VIP. to 7-Eleven. We're mobile, boys. Uh, that was the only place it was open for me to get Okay, now we can see the pizza closer. And they had eclairs <laughs> there, and I ate one. Why does he put extra cheese on it? Why don't you just look at the way it is? Okay. Why well, put oregano so, on it? Um, uh, let's make sure this one's open. Smell it. Yep, smells like that good shit. Okay, and so you're going to go ahead and screw this down. Then we put the oregano right on here, right directly onto the pizza. I've never seen somebody get a frozen pizza and then add to it. Usually you just throw the frozen pizza in there. And then, and then after it's done, maybe you throw some stuff on there. I don't know about cheese, though. But seasonings, like crushed red pepper flakes or Parmesan, I could see being put on pizza. Oregano, I don't really understand it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna let him cook. And as you can see, we're seasoning the pizza. It's very good. Uh, some people put barbecue sauce in their pizza. These people are fucking uh, gorillas. Uh -huh. uh, if I ever see a pineapple on a pizza, I throw it away <laughs> as fast as I can. That way, nobody will accidentally eat it. Pineapple uh, pizza. You put the the uh, oregano on there. You want to put the um, uh, what is this? Uh, cheese. That's the Cheese on there. And so we're gonna put the cheese on there. Now you don't want to overdo. We have to look at the, the cheese, bag. Okay. 
to remember that he was touching cheese. Because I don't like eating a lot of cheese. Cheese is okay, but I... Hold on. If you don't like eating a lot of cheese, why put extra cheese on the pizza that already has cheese? Da -da 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 -da. Never met somebody that eats a lot of cheese. There's something that's like not like wrong with them in, in some way, so... Uh... I don't eat a lot of cheese because I don't like it. And so that's pretty much about it. And so we put some more cheese on there. And now we all oh, I dropped one on the floor. Is what it is. He doesn't have any pets for the cheese tax, does he? You know, if you if you have uh, pets, you you got to know about the cheese tax. So next thing you got, we got to close this up. You close it up yeah. that way. Close it up, put it back in the fridge. And, um. We're we'll just set it down. There you go. And you have the Hormel pepperoni. So. But isn't it already a pepperoni pizza? Open this up. And you do want to keep this in the refrigerator. Because if you <laughs> don't. Well, it molds either way, actually. Uh, trust me. But it's not a big deal. If you're eating a lot of pizzas, you're never going to get to that point. Make sure to smell it. It's been in the refrigerator for a while, but apparently not too long. So we want to talk about like pepperoni placement. I need some cool pajama pants. A lot of people that are fucking stupid don't understand. Asmund Gold and uh, Emmy You don't want to put the pepperonis on top of each other, really. You want to line them up to where it's like a grid. Uh, think of it as like... Once again, my question. Why is he adding ingredients that are already on the frozen pizza? And I thought the Tostitos pizza itself Damn. was two dollars. Like All this extra like stuff a, is extra money. What's a good metaphor for this? Let's say you're trying to bomb a city, okay? And you're looking trying. for the right, uh, uh, the right way to do it without overlapping. Because it's like you've already bombed some of the buildings, so you don't want to do that again. So you want to have very minimal overlap with these pepperonis. And that way... Um, well, I mean, that's, you know, there it is. Let's see what it looks so like when it's done. We have the pepperonis right here. And I actually, I kind of fucked up. And I don't like the way this one looks. It's going in the garbage. Uh, he like just threw it away. And, I would have uh, ate it. That's a yellow pepperoni. A yellow pe Never mind. I yellow pepperoni I've ne never mind. I wouldn't have ate it. Has. So now we have... I've never... I like yeah, I've never seen a yellow pepperoni. I wouldn't eat it. I throw it away. The ingredients perfectly and carefully placed in exactly the part that it needs to be. Um, Those ingredients were already on the pizza. I'm move this and just sit this down so you guys can see this. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a bit better. So then you put it in the oven. We made our pizza here, and as you can see, uh, or could see, uh, did you preheat the oven? Now, uh, people say I don't wash my hands. And the reason for that is I don't get my hands dirty. However, pepperonis do have this like greasy stuff on them. So I will actually wash my hands in this very limited circumstance. Um, <laughs> apparently, the, I don't know why all the water in the sink is yellow, but we'll just use the other side of it. Uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's probably just something stupid, who cares? And um, anyway, maybe move some of the wood stuff out of there. Yeah, look at this yellow. Is this like cream soda? That's crazy. I like cream. I was actually drinking cream soda earlier today. That was delicious. I'm drinking I wash my hands a off. NOS. The reason why I, like to go I fast. always keep my hands clean is because I grew up, I was really skinny. And I would always have to pull my pants up constantly. So I would never want to get my pants dirty because I'd wear the same pants for like a month. And it's like, I wouldn't want people at school to see me wearing dirty pants. Now I'll wear the same pants, that's fine, but I wouldn't want to wear dirty pants. So I got to the point where I would never get my hands dirty because then I have to pull up my pants and I get my, my my pants dirty or my shirt dirty. And it's like, I'm gonna wear this for like the indefinite future. Like, let's not, let's not mess shit up now. So the next thing you need is you need a place to cook it. Actually, let me put this stuff away. Yeah, put it back in it's the like fridge. <laughs> this is old oregano. We don't need that. Those are the fucking garbage. So this part's a little bit complicated. Well, I put oregano I on pizza. 
Did he preheat it? I don't know how to use this oven. For about yeah. like seven years, we... He should have... When... If he's going to do all that extra stuff, he should have preheated the oven, then did all that extra stuff. And by the time he was done with the extra stuff, the oven would be at the temperature it needed to be at. But now he's going to have to wait. Didn't have an oven like this because our old one broke. So I have to, I have to go into the garage. What? And I have another oven. This is the struggle oven. And this is the oven that we use to cook pizzas in. So I'll be right back. I don't know where it is. Okay. What? What's I'm happening? Uh, I, I know I know it's here. I haven't made okay. pizza for a while. The oven was in the wheelbarrow, which was with the clothes. So I had to... Let me turn this off. Um... It was uh, over. It's like a crock pot. The oven. This is the oven like I a big old before. crock pot. Uh, we bought this for $20. That's an oven? Like 10 years ago. And yeah, it works great. Way better than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> so, we'll just put the oven on top of the oven. Put the oven on top of the oven? Oh, shit. This... It's an electric oh, oven. Okay, uh, fuck. Isn't it an okay, air fryer? It doesn't reach. Okay, give me a minute. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think I got, this one out. He's gotta think this so one I out. I had cosmic brownies, but, um, uh, the box was empty, so I have to get more. Um, uh, -huh. uh fuck. That sucks. Okay, anyway. Uh, -huh. uh Asmund Gold is so funny. Like his mannerisms. I wonder if he's gonna go live today. Or he might be live right now. So huh. got... Let me see. Let me see who's live. Because it's right over there. Let me think. He's got a He's got a quest. It's like wow, he's got a quest. Actually we're not gonna move it because moving it would take too much effort. And this is some weird butter thing my mom had. I don't know how this works. This is some kind of fucking like magic water thing. Okay. So we're gonna move this closer. So toaster, we don't need a toaster. Not unless I want to take a bath. And let's see if this is gonna work. And then you turn this up. Yeah. Does this work? Is that an air fryer? It's it's going like. Mm, so I think it is. Give it a minute. Okay, let me put this on it. Man, I have no idea how this fucking thing's actually supposed to. I... Is it? Is it? I I'd, I'd help Asmogold use the 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 big oven. I'd be like, all right, first we gotta preheat the oven to like, I don't know, whatever it says on the bag. Like the bag should say have the cooking instructions for the oven. Be like 425 or something like that. I don't know how hot it is. I don't know how to make it, but it'll say it on the paper. Uh, just give me a minute, guys. It is. Oh no, I, I feel it. It's oh damn, it's hot. Uh -huh, oh yeah. my god, it's hot. Okay, so here's what you do is you want to take your pizza, take a look at this. This does he have is, like a, once again the pizza. Does he have a pan to put it on? Absolutely delicious. And we're gonna take the pizza and we're gonna put it. Get this. We're gonna put it in the oven. And then I put it right there in the oven. And then we forget about it. It says to turn it to, uh, fucking, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, should stay it on there. I think we'll just put it at, like, 400 or something, because, like, that's pretty hot, I think. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's about it. I said so 425, 400. Is we mm. pretty much just sit here and wait for the pizza to cook. And whenever I say we wait for the pizza to cook, I mean that I go upstairs and I forget about it until it's burned. Yeah. So what I like to do right now is I'm going to just cut 
And, I hate uh, cooking food because I'm usually uh, gaming. We're gonna let the oven do work, and then after that, we'll come back and we'll see what you know. We'll see what happens. Now, I want to say that almost everything that I eat and almost everything that I cook is all overcooked. I have a weird phobia of not eating undercooked food. So undercooked steak, undercooked like I don't eat sushi. I like sushi. I do not. For any reason. I do not eat it. I like sushi, but then again, Asmongold doesn't even like vegetables. And like some vegetables are actually really good. At all. So I like to make sure everything's cooked. And uh I always overcook. I never undercook. That's just how it is. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and let me make sure this is still hot. Yeah, it's hot. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get like a... Uh, I'm, I'm going to just pause and you guys will see what it's like. I'll be back. Oh, while well, it's cooking. So he's going to fast forward. Uh, yeah, it's fucking burnt. Okay, uh, yeah. It's burnt. Uh, big surprise. <laughs> the fucking pizza again. Uh, okay, so basically after you get done with that, you just take this top off and, you know, it works itself out with the heat over there. And then you need uh, an oven mitt and uh, we'll use this one right here. Is he just going to pick up the pizza? On, you don't want to leave it on like the base of the oven because then you put it on uh, this. Yeah, there's a little let's rat. take a look at this fucking pizza right here. It doesn't this look that burnt. This is call a fucking pizza. So this gentleman right here was uh fuck. It looks a little crispy on the edges, but I like that. I like that uh extra crisp. That extra crisp with that little burnt like that little like barely burnt. It's not like the whole thing's inedible. Like I thought when he said it was burnt, like the whole thing was gonna be black and charred. But that actually looks pretty good. You can see the the glistening grease on the pepperonis on each of these pepperonis. Still, I don't understand why you put pepperonis on a pepperoni pizza. Like, it's just uh, extra pepperoni. Like, like, oh, and extra cheese. Oh, man, how much was it? Like, $3? I think it was like $3. And it's like, you get, you spend something for $3 nowadays. That's a lot. And uh, you, you can't get a lot with that, I mean to say. And uh, it used to be a buck back in the good days. Right now, now, it's 3 bucks. How old so is Asmongold? Right here. I feel like I'm around the same age as Asmongold. I don't know how old he is. If you're watching this, comment below if you know how old Asmongold is. Because I wonder if he was born in 89 like me. And you got the pizza right there. Uh, now, I use a wooden plate for this because I cut through it. Now, very rarely do I indulge in some silliness. Uh, you unplug this bitch, too. Uh, uh, and turn it off. Pull the fucking um, cord out. And so that's done. And uh, he just throws the mitt. <laughs> I thought that would be way cooler. All right. So anyway, uh, I, I do not usually engage in uh, indulgences like this, but I yeah. actually have found it to be more efficient. I have a pizza cutter. Uh, oh, he's got an actual pizza like cutter. I might have to just use this. Oh, uh, nice. I thought I had a pizza. Where's the pizza cutter? Wait, wait a minute. Where, like the rolling one? Here? The rolling pizza cutter? So, the way you want to cut this. Why is it wet? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Alright. So pizza right here, right? <laughs> so, now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to cut the pizza. All right, we're going to do this together. Alright, here we go. It looks so awkward doing it. Okay. How many slices? And four. Down this one right here. Yeah, four sounds good. Right down the middle. And that's good. And the reason. If you want to, if uh, a way to cut this, like if he had like ranch or something to dip it in, like marinara sauce, is uh. Well, hold I on. Uh, one down the middle, one cut straight down the middle, and then a cross cut like this. And you can have like a bunch of pizza sticks that you can dip into ranch. Like, because you can, you can cut across those and probably get at least eight or ten, ten sticks that you can just dip. It'd be more like a snack. 
use a knife is actually I do it about. The That's same what time. I would do because I, I don't like. I like I like dipping my pizza in ranch. I don't. I know a lot. I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but I like doing that. Pizza and ranch taste good together. If I use a knife, then I have to wash a knife. And if I wash a knife, that means or I can't use sauce. a knife because it's dirty because I had to wash it. That means I can't use it for steak. So that means that I have to spend more time, more frequently. I still don't get why you put oregano dishes. on there. I hate washing dishes. I, if, if I could get a plastic I like this knife, shirt. That I could a plastic fork to eat with all the time, I would do it. It would be a lot easier and better for me. Just put that back in the water, and uh, now time to eat. Yeah, now, four slices. What you have to do is I'm telling you, you uh, can make you uh, like sticks. And, uh, put like five. Oh yeah, you can probably make eight. And start watching anime and eat the pizza. That's how to make a pizza, guys. Which anime $3? though do you watch? So what I'm waiting for is Dr. Stone. It's on season three right now, but I'm waiting for all of it to finish so I can just binge it because I don't like waiting a week and all that crap. But I really like Dr. Stone. I'll watch some Dr. Stone with some pizza. It was pizza made from scratch. It's like an anime where you learn. Take a look at it. And yeah, see? Going, boys. Oh, shit. Thanks. Hold on. Let me make a full screen. Let me go back. From home right here. Take a look at it. All right, pause. See, he has a cut right down the middle, and then you have a cut down the middle again, right? Then you can make a cut down this middle, and then a cut down this middle, and then you have eight pizza sticks, pepperoni pizza sticks that you can use to dip in, dip in ranch or any sauce of your choosing. You can have like gar garlic butter dips and stuff. But, I mean, it's cool the way he's uh, doing it, too, because he's probably not dipping it in anything. You eat it like that if you're not going to dip it in anything. Four, four slices because it's easier. And that's how it's done, boys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace. See ya, Asma Gold. Well, what did you guys think about that video? About his $2 pizza? Do you think, do you think it should be corrected? Cause that that there's how is that two dollars when it's the whole toast Totino's uh but then you have extra cheese on there and you have extra pepperoni and then what do you think about Adam Gold saying that he he doesn't like eating cheese and then he's putting extra cheese on the pizza like the pizza already has cheese and pepperoni on it it was like we looked at the packaging before he opened it it was a pepperoni pizza pepperoni and cheese pizza. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like my reaction, go ahead and smash the like button. If you like Asmongold's pizza, make sure you, you click the link in the description. It'll be linked to his video and then you can show him some love, show him some support. You know, maybe drop a little bit of tips on cooking. Maybe he'll read them. Who knows? But uh, if you want to join the lurkers, make sure you hit subscribe. We got like 130 and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified every drop. I do gameplay videos and I do reaction videos. So yeah, that's it. See you next time, lurkers. Peace.